Well, hey, Life Leaders, welcome to your Life Leader update for this week. Love Sioux Falls is this weekend. Okay, it's coming up. Here it is. And it's so important for us to communicate to our group. So you would think that by now every single person in your group knows the time, knows the date, knows where to show up, what the plan is, but sometimes that doesn't happen. And there may actually be people in your group who's been assigned to your group based on hub uh, connections, people who signed out, signed in the hub saying, hey, I wanna be a part of Love Sioux Falls, but I'm not in a life group. And we've been talking in the last videos to be aware of your surroundings. There may be people assigned to your Love Sioux Falls group who've never even been to a life group. So I created a small video on CCB to really show you how uh, to follow up with every single person in your group in an easy way. So check out this video and I'll see you right back. All right, life groups, I'm gonna show you how to look up your need for your Love Sioux Falls event and how to follow up with people who've been assigned to your need. So you log into your CCB, you guys already know how to do this, put in your information right there. Now, when you log in, you obviously see your group here on the side. I'm going to search for a group. It's going to be Evan and Carla's R3 group. Now, when I go to the group, you guys are familiar with these tabs. You see your files, your Hawthorne teachers, all those kind of things that you guys already use, your messages, your attendance. You guys have been recording attendance, been doing a great job of doing that. Now, if you go to your needs, click on that. and Click on that button right there. You'll see everyone who's been a part of your need. You guys turn in your sign-up sheets. You see the names who've been added. Most of these people you're familiar with. But for example, we may have added someone to your Love Sioux Falls event who signed up through the hub every single Sunday. And in our Life Leader updates, we've been telling you that there are people who are not in life groups that we want to be exposed to life groups and people in community. So what you do is you may notice that Luke, for example, is has never been in your group. That probably means he's been added to your Love Sioux Falls event. So what we're asking you to do as a leader is to pump everyone up uh, and communicate with everyone to remind them that this weekend for your event that's described right here, it's coming up. You'll be surprised, and I'm guilty as well, how many times uh, you forget things and dates and even if it's this weekend, if you said it a hundred times, you need to say it again. So a really quick way that you can just message every single person, including people who've never been in your group, is you click on inform people right here and say, hey guys, so pumped about this weekend. And then when you write details of, I'm so glad that you're part of it, you can even say, if you've never been to our group, we'll see you at the event, or we'll, after the event, we're planning on having uh, lunch or, or dinner or something like that. You can incorporate anything you want around your Love Sweet Falls event. Just make sure when you message everyone to address anyone who may not have ever been to your group and welcome them to your event. And uh, we're entrusting you as leaders to do that. So uh, you send that out and everyone gets a message. It's that easy. Uh, to follow up with everyone in your Love Sioux Falls event. It's this weekend, uh, so you guys have a blast. And remember, if you notice anyone who isn't there and, and they've never been to your group, that's probably because they've been added to your group. And there have been um, multiple people who've been added to Love Sioux Falls event who are not in community. And that's part, of, that's part of the beauty of it. So that's all you need to know for that. All right, guys, so Love Sioux Falls is this weekend. It's on us to finish well, finish strong. Have a blast with your group, okay? It's more than just an event. You can always plan something afterwards. You guys hang out, have a blast, do breakfast before, do dinner after, have a party. Make it a party. This is something to rejoice and that we're actually having a covenant community, that we're going out there and doing this. I also want to remind you that March 29th, you can probably repeat it by now, we're having our volunteer leadership training with Phil Tag. He's going to be teaching for 40 minutes. It's at 1 p.m. Come on by sit in for the teaching. He's going to share an incredible word with us, something that's going to really help us harness what God has called us to do. And then right afterwards, we're going to stay in the main uh, warehouse uh, since we have the largest group and everyone's going to be there. Uh, and we're going to have a quick time, 45 minutes tops, where I'll teach and we're going to share some incredible stories that have gone on this semester. And we're going to have some amazing snacks there too. So amazing food, amazing teaching by me and others and we're going to have child care provided so child care is provided for our gathering afterwards so you just leave the kids in there and uh, we'll get through it and, and vision cast for the summer where we're going for the fall and how we're going to end well this semester okay so i want to just want to rejoice with you guys thank you so much for everything that you do thank you for your leadership thank you for being incredible life leaders 
I love you guys. I'm here to serve. Let me know what you need from me. And you'll notice that on this email, I'm actually going to do a little quick synopsis on what I'm talking about for some of you guys who need to look at information real quick, or you may have forgotten what I said on the video. So God bless you guys. I'll see you next week and have an amazing day.